This is just two minutes later and I stabilized here, captured the radius and glided it superiorly 30 firm oscillations. And we'll test your strength now. Okay, so just relax. And don't let me supinate on the count of three. One, two, three, go. How do you feel? I think pretty strong. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell that's stronger than mm -hmm. before. I can't break it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Another interesting thing we noted, and I don't know if this is transient or if this is lasting, but the laxity here has, has been altered. And so somehow we've altered resting muscle tone in stabilizers of the wrist, of the lateral wrist. Somehow that affected this. Do you feel that? I keep trying to create that same excessive movement. And right now this, this wrist feels similar to the, to the left, not quite the same. And now I'm testing that medial glide and I'm not getting much medial glide. So this is an example where we had muscle inhibition reducing tone, resting tone of the ligament capsule. And somehow we removed that inhibition and the muscle tone is increased and now the function of that joint is better. Now, I've, I've seen dramatic cases like this and I've seen long-term benefit in some of them. I've seen transient change in some of them where it was a transient, very brief reflex phenomenon. So time will tell, but you can give me some mm -hmm. feedback and let me know what you think of it. Yes. Um, there's also a way of working on the opposite wrist to temporarily reduce muscle tone in the left wrist, but turn on muscle tone in the stabilizers of the right wrist. So there's also that technique. Um, but for now, uh, give me some feedback, please. It's achy at the end of the radius. Okay. Um, Where I was squeezing it? <laughs> yes. Yep. And I think I have more sense of it, whereas before when you were palpating things I could see the laxity in the joint, but I didn't have an overall sense of the wrist. And I feel like I have more sense of the wrist. You have more awareness of it. Yes. Is that what you're saying? Yes. That's interesting. Yeah. That's very interesting. Anything else? Could you test it in any way? Lean on it? Bend it around? Move it around? Um, when I'm putting pressure through my wrist, I feel an action of something working just in front of the ulna coming into the hand, uh -huh. which isn't normal. Is that right? Mm -hmm. So could you elaborate? I, I, I... No. <laughs> Other than I've not felt that before, so there is activity underneath, uh, on the surface here, uh -huh. and also more here. Is it a movement? It's um, muscle activation. Muscle activation. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. We'll see. Well, I'm pleased. Mm, thank you. <laughs> I... Uh, wasn't sure if we could make any change in that wrist, but it's interesting that at least short term we were able to do yes. so. Yes. So give me some feedback and I'll post part two later on. I will. So maybe in a week you can send me an email. Mm -hmm. Great. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you.